In the following example, we are asked to find the missing parts of a triangle. So let's just point out that because we see the angle C as 108.5 degrees, we are going to be dealing with an oblique triangle. Okay, so I'm going to draw a triangle. Let's try to get it as close to what they're asking as possible. Okay, something like that. Okay, and we're going to call this angle C. Okay, we can call this one angle A and this one angle B. Okay, so if that is A, B, and C, then we're going to label the sides. This is side A, this is side B, and this is side C, because that's how we label a triangle. So now we're going to label what it is that they gave us. So this is 108.5 degrees, okay? And then side A is going to be 5.6 kilometers. And side B is going to be 10.8 kilometers, okay? So let's just pretend that you know, maybe these are distances to from one town to another, okay? So, we have to find side length C. We have to find angle A. We'll call it, color it there in blue. And then we have to find angle B. And we'll color that there in red. Okay, so we're going to have to make use of the law of cosines. Now, I know that I have side A, side B, and angle C. So this tells me I've got a case of the law of cosines where I have C. I'm looking for C, rather. And that's going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in all that I know into the formula. So side A is 5.6, and I'm going to square it. Side B is 10.8, and I'm going to square it. Minus 2 times 5.6 times 10.8. And then cosine of 108.5 five degrees okay so something looks like that and you plug that in to your calculator and you're going to get the fact that C equals 13.7 kilometers okay and so we have finished solving the side lengths now we've got to worry about the angles so let's say we're looking for the angle A all right so let's take a look at what that formula looks like if you manipulate the law of cosines, you're going to get A equals the cosine inverse of A squared minus B squared minus C squared, all divided by negative 2BC. So that's what A, the angle A, looks like. Now we're going to plug in what we know, the cosine inverse and we're going to plug in the side lengths. So A is 5.6 square minus B, which is 10.8 square minus C, which is 13.7 square, all divided by a negative 2 times 10.8 times 13.7. And you plug all of that in on your calculator, and you're going to get something like, give me one second, you're going to get something that looks like uh, 22.7 degrees. So let's go ahead and write that in, 22.7 degrees. Okay, now you could apply the law of cosines to figure out the remaining angle. All right, you could apply the law of cosines to find the remaining angle, but we know that in any triangle, 
uh, the angles have to add up to equal 180 degrees. That's just a property of triangles. So let's see here. We could add 22.7 to 108.5, and we get something like 131.2. And so then we can say, okay, well, what's 180 minus 131.2? Okay, so you do that quick math on your calculator and you get somewhere in the ballpark of 48.8 degrees. So this side B is going to be 48.8, I'm sorry, the angle B rather, not side B, angle B is 48.8 degrees. So we have the three missing pieces of our triangle and we found them using the law of cosines. So if this video was helpful, be sure that you like and subscribe.